Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 62, the episode where I'm starting it with a minor flu. I apparently have a 13% infection, so this does not have antibiotics. I was hopeful. But we are in the loot room from the POI that we had cleared in the previous episode, and it is quite a loot room here. This is one of the large hardened chests, so that's going to have some good stuff. And the amount of ammo that I'm getting back from this excursion is far more than I spent. I had assumed that the sheer amount of goodies that I had gotten in the past in my previous playthroughs were due to having high loot stages or from having mods. But if you're doing infested clears at least, hell, probably even normal clears with reward or with POIs like this, even in standard loot settings and vanilla everything, you get great stuff. All your ammo tends to just be given back to you, plus more at the end of every POI. SMG. Finally. That's great. I love having the SMG. Although it's a tier 1. Not the best results. Can I make an SMG yet? No. So, that'll have to do. But right now, we have something that needs to be taken care of. And taken care of it was. Now let's see what the big, big loot is. Food bundle? Really. Pocket mods, useless. Some mid books. Sewing kits can be dropped. Huh. This is worse than most of the other stuff that I had. Stuff to make room. I have so much excess. What to do? What to do? Let's crack the food bundle. What does it have? Cooking book. Mineral water. I'll just drink it now, I guess. I'm not particularly worried about that. And 10 tuna fish gravy toast. Fancy. Sounds kind of good. I could eat some of that right now. 90 food. Wow. Works for me. All right, let's go ahead and get this. More importantly, because crack a book. Come on, vehicles. No, bar brawling. Well, I guess that works for me. However, the car, or pass and gas, one, did in fact have a vehicle book. Great. And Savage Country has a compound crossbow. I think that's about as good as you can craft, so I'll take it. Why not? And we have a handful of books, and then we can make our way back home. This was quite the loaded POI. It's very large. It feels like I haven't even gone through the entire thing, but apparently I did. And all the way at the top is a duffel bag with a bad book in it. I guess I'll just slowly parkour my way back to my mini bike, and then we'll head on home. Let's see. The XP that was given to me. I have a lot of XP. Let's go ahead and put another point into Lucky Looter. Might as well. I'm going with an unusual build, this probably isn't going to be a permanent one. But in total, that was two levels for one POI. And if you look at the bar at the bottom right here where my mouse is, that's about halfway to another level. So, while that did not have a lot of books, that was a lot of XP. And a lot of moments where I could have definitely died. There was a point where I was very surrounded, and if I didn't have parkour like I have respect to previously, then I definitely would have died. I had to jump over a lot of zombies in one of those instances. That is one of the many reasons why I tout the great, great value of parkour. I wouldn't even blame anybody if they started the game and immediately went with that as their first perk. It is an entirely different game once you have that perk. Well, once you max it. I believe it takes three points before you start jumping higher blocks, but that's when it gets insanely valuable. The first two points, you tend to question as to whether they're worth it, because it's just fall damage. And nobody ever thinks they're going to fall. Thinks is the important thing to emphasize there. I'm sure at least half of my deaths in this game have been from falls when I didn't have parkour. It's something that you probably shouldn't ignore. Bars. If I had a faster method of travel, that is a bear. Avoid the bear. If I had a faster method of travel, then I would potentially take another high tier quest, like this one, before- oh, that's another bear. Luckily they're slower than my mini bike. If I had a faster vehicle, I would take another high tier quest so that I could finish that up before the Horde Day, which is on day 63. But I do not feel comfortable with how slow this is and whether or not I would have a enough, a enough, e enough time to finish the quest and get back to the base. After all, doing this one between the travel and doing the POI took a full day, to the point where I had to start this episode inside of a unknown territory. So, it makes me a bit less comfortable to consider the higher tier quest this close to the Horde Knight. I actually thought that this previous 
Nevisgeen Corrections POI was going to take two full days. But that's because of my history in playing this game where I loot everything all the time. If there is a container that says it's untouched, I touch it because it just makes sense. Though when you're on a time crunch and you're playing hardcore and the horde base is of more importance than most of the questing, it's best to not dilly-dally looking through toilets. Screamer. Dead Screamer. And there's another one over here. What the heck? Two in one. <laughs> I did have a running start after all. A third Screamer. Damn, I guess they really can just collect up while you're away. The heat stacks up, it seems. Let's go ahead and turn this into Jen and see what kind of rewards we get for a, what was that, the tier six or five? You don't look so good. I get it, Jen. I'm not your type. Oh, not too great, honestly. 10k XP, no, 10k Dukes. 33k XP. Not terrible, but not amazing. Tier 6 impact driver will do that, for sure. Sniper rifle, however, I don't think I am going to get any value out of this. Most likely. So, uh, it is tier 6. Just have one. Might as well. Fine, we'll take it. Oh, okay, so that was a tier 6. Tier 6 complete rewards. I believe this is the last one I can get, unless tier 7s exist. Steel armor bundle... Military. Hmm. Well, the steel armor will translate to dukes. Shotgun turret, not too concerned about. Nor the steel. I'll just take the turret. Why not? All of these are very far away. Uh, infested clear, tier 5. I think I can do that before time runs out. So, I'll do that. Another screamer. Stop it, lady. That's four over the course of, like, three or four minutes. Let's go ahead and put the turret bundle in the building stuff chest. We will move the mods over from my tier 5 deagle over to this tier 6, because it just makes sense to do so. There, done. The tier 5 will get a repair. It was worth 1.9k before, 2.2k. It's worth the investment. And now we're going to do the same thing with the impact driver. But first, let's put the compound bow in here. And the SMG? I mean, I could start plowing through some of this 9mm. Could. Might. Nah. Maybe? Nah. Yeah, I have more of everything else than 9mm. Nope, that's not where ammo goes. That's where ammo goes. Let's move mods over to the impact driver, which means this one can be repaired and put in the cell chest. I also need repair kits, which there is a full stack in here. There we go. Let's take a moment to crack this open. Oh, it's tier six. Some of it is at least. The SWAT helmet is identical to a steel helmet. I see. How interesting. Well, other than that, we have a tier six chest piece. So let's swap that over, shall we? And the last piece is the gloves. Everything else came out at tier five. Boom. Armor. Now the rest of this can, in fact, be sold. And that sets us at 83% damage reduction. Not too shabby. Put the sniper away, for one. And the SMG. We'll stick with a magnum for now. The goal is to dump my inventory. And that should do for now. I'm going to take one extra... Wait, no, we have to dump the robot's inventory as well. I tend to forget that. Often. Man, okay, yeah, we have one hell of a surplus of ammo. We have almost filled an entire chest. Look at us go. Amazing. We have more turret bundles, put those away, and the last thing to do is put this machete away. I'm going to set myself up to have two stacks of shotgun, and let's go ahead and do this quest, shall we? I appear to need some food, so let's use this tuna fish gravy on toast, or whatever. Tuna fish gravy toast. Right. By the way, I have no idea what POI this quest is. I didn't even pay attention to it. I just saw an infested clear at tier 5 and was like, all right, give me. I wasn't sure at the beginning of this series because I hadn't done too many of them, but I'm pretty certain. Wait, do I have gasoline? Oh, wait, it should be in the mini bike. There we go. Anyways, I'm pretty sure the infested clears, the way they work is if you do a tier five infested clear, then the POI that you do will be a tier four POI. At least it seems that way. I might be wrong, but it feels like it often brings me to POIs from a tier prior. Suppose I'll get the supply drop before we questulate. More handgun books to get me closer to crafting an SMG of my own. And a free blueberry pie. Wonderful. Armor bundle. I'll just take that apart when I get to gens and sell it. Apart from one or two more pieces left in my armor. Another supply drop. Hmm. 
I didn't realize there were so many in this direction. I'm pretty sure there's only one or two more armor pieces left that need to be upgraded to tier 6. Apart from that, I'm just about done, hence why my armor resistance has gotten so high. This is a cloth armor bundle, pretty worthless. Iron shovel, I suppose I could repair it and sell it. Ooh, vehicle adventures from that crafting box. 276, I guess it's worth something. Rawr, yourself, businessman. Uh, this looks interesting, to say the least. Having a new fancy... Another supply drop over there? They're, they're all just dropping in this general area, and I didn't realize it, I guess. Well, let's get this over with, shall we? Tier 5 infested clear. Just how infested is this clear? Never seen that before, a singular book as a lootable. Very weird looking. Filing cabinet. Nice. This POI is already giving me more books than the entire jail cell did. Or jail facility. This looks like a spot where I'm going to get hoarded. So, let's drop down the boy and get ready. Hello everybody, let's play. L hello, here we go. Surprisingly not that intense. There's got to be more to this. It's a tier 5 after all. It's probably going to lead underground at some point. Yeah, probably from this. Bunker, looks like. But for now, we'll go through this area. This is definitely going to have a bunch of zombies. Let's close off this doorway. Well, not close it off. Set up the boy. Make it a choke point. Quite a few of them. That was easy enough. I'm getting a bit paranoid as- ooh, Vehicle Adventures again. 45, I believe that is what I needed for... The motorcycle. Yes, wonderful. I'm going to need another 25, is that right? Yes, another 25 books to do the 4x4, but that's not truly my goal. My goal is another 55 books for the ever so wonderful gyrocopter. Can't go wrong with that thing. Hmm, this is spring heaven. I guess I'm gonna have to do this like so. 37 springs. Not bad, considering how rare of a resource it is. Or uncommon. Not necessarily rare. Oh, there's more of them. Here we go again. Now we're done with the springs. Coming out with a total of 72. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. This seems to be potentially the end of the POI. Felt my frame rate skip with that hop right there, so this has got to be it. <laughs> I guess we'll funnel them here through the showers. Drop the boy right there and get ready. Oh yeah, here we go. Maybe not here we go? It seemed like there was a lot more going on just a second ago. I'm telling you, this entire POI is just some kind of crazy setup. There's going to be a whole bunch of zombies at the end. Ah, these damn birds. And a dead soldier. Oh, still alive. Tough guy. Okay, this next spot has to be the end of the POI. There's going to be a thousand zombies. Oh, another single book on the floor. Interesting. Couple spoopers in the closet, nothing too big. This room looks important now, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I'm... oh, army munitions. I was about to say, if I'm looking at the infested cache, that would mean this is the end of the POI. So far, this feels nothing like a tier 5. Another vehicle adventures. Putting those points into that vehicle perk was definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and punch through this door. There's really no way that this is the entire POI. Something's missing. There's something below. I can feel it in my bones. Maybe it's here at the helipad. What am I doing? That's the wrong tool. 
There we go. Amazing. This has got to be it. Look at all the bodies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Again, that doesn't quite feel like that's it. I'm sure there's more to be said. Uh, this booger man appears to be stuck under the map. Oh, there he goes. Rolling around, do me a favor and clear the cobwebs while you're down there. There's a couple wild zombies from outside seem to want to wander around. I don't like you making all that noise, buddy. Get out of here. Ah, there's one more event seemingly below. Now that it's actually pointing me in the direction of where I need to go. I guess this POI is kind of small, huh? I'm hoping that the infested cache is in the direction of where that yellow dot is pointing. So, let's check it out. After the shotgun messiah box, of course. Which has nothing of value in it, naturally. What does this do? Seemingly unlocked... Something. That, wait, that's it? <laughs> I guess, uh, we've, wow, it's a lot of loot in here, huh? Damn, for such a unpopulated POI? Crazy. That's crazy talk. Stop it, you silly goose. Well, let's loot all of this. Might as well. After all, it's just sitting here. No one else is gonna take it, are they? The infested cache. This is always the best part, at least in terms of ammo. Look at all that ammo. Insane. It's literally two and a half stacks of 762 ammo and a bunch of everything else. I need to put some things on the robot. That should do. And we have two problems, one being this and one being this. Let's solve both of them, shall we? Ah, solving all of our problems one at a time. Nothing too crazy inside of these, oddly enough. But beggars can't be choosers. It was an easy POI for whatever reason. So easy, in fact, that we have time to get back to Jen. After getting this supply crate, of course. We have enough time to get back to Jen and accept another quest. Probably finish it before the night is over, too. Something that I might have to invest in during the week after this Horde Knight is collecting more iron. Oh dear, books being dropped. That's what happens if you open those when your inventory is just about full. Vehicle adventure is not bad. What was I saying? Was I saying something? I've lost track. Right, I need iron. Potentially, for the next week after this Horde Night, it may be iron time. Gonna be a bit of an iron mad, doing everything an iron can. Because that would allow me to craft even more steel, and I still need more than what I've gotten to upgrade her royal girthiness all the way to steel. One of the reasons I haven't done such a project earlier, even though I've had access to the necessary parts and bits and baubles, is simply due to the fact that I wasn't sure and I'm still not really sure if I want to cement or steal as a proper term. I don't know if I want to steal up the very shape that her royal girthiness is in. Because if I have to make renovations afterwards, I'm going to have to blow out steel blocks, and that sucks. Nobody likes blowing steel blocks. Nobody likes blowing. Hi, Jed. I did the murder-murder-death kill, and now I want my money. Let's see. Oh, tier 4 SMG. Amazing. I'll take it. Now I'm gonna have to clear up some inventory space, but don't need those bones. I have many, many stacks of bones. Took the crafting. Oh, I need to clear up another slot? Really? I guess I can throw away the machete parts. Wait, how much are those worth? Eh. I will scrap the buckshot. We always need someone and with my remaining time, I'll take this. What was that? Tier 4 or 3? I believe a tier 3 infestation. So, I will empty my inventory, and let's go ahead and do that. Anything to drive me closer and closer toward finishing up this Vehicles series. I want to know what happens at the end of the Vehicle Adventures series. Does Bob Robert the Robbing Mechanic finally achieve his wish of becoming an entire wheel? Find out next time on Vehicle Adventures. Speaking of which, I got two of them from that bundle. Nice. Not bad.
Now that we've got this, I actually have a purpose to my 9mm ammo, besides this tier 6 pistola, which just doesn't do the trick. It really doesn't. Security camera bundle can go in there. And now we are going to need a second ammo chest, hence why I made all of these writable storage chests. I'm going to place down three of them, and they're going to be assigned as ammo chests. Right over here. Yes, it's messy. Not much I can do about that. Let's go ahead and load all of this in here. Man, that one quest gives so much ammo. Insane. A moo too. So, we have a second ammo chest and now. And I think my inventory... Oh, I gotta get the robot, of course. I always forget the robot. You know, we'll get it after the quest. Rather than micromanaging after every single interaction. Oh! It's this house right next to me. I think we've done this one before. That's okay, though. We've learned at this point that vanilla is a lot of exactly what I just said. Oh, I've done this before. Not to say it's bad or anything, or repetitive or whatever other descriptors you want to add to it. It is simply to say that they need more POIs, or my random world gen is evil. See, am I all loaded up on everything? I am. Go me. Oh, fat boy in a closet. Yikes. Sneaking. Oh, it's not a closet, it's a bathroom. I am so sorry. You were just trying to drop a steamer, huh? Sorry, Chief. Oh, it was safe. Not so safe, really. See? Not that safe. Ooh, bookshelf. Nice. Springs, might as well. You know, I remember there being some kind of problem where I had to hop up onto the roof last time. But we'll see what's up after I go through the POI. I'm sure it'll start pointing me in the direction of where it wants me to go. Let's see. Where are my zombies? Let's be friends. Friends! Hey, don't mess up my joke. The timing is all off now. Oh, what the hell? What are you doing up there? Silly, silly little biker. Hmm? I hear beating and bopping and slapping and slopping, but from where? Oh. Simply on the other side of the wall. Tier 6 Iron Helm? I can sell that. Drop that sewing kit. Oh, anything of worth in here? No, let's do this quickly. Perhaps I can save enough time if I do it quickly to get some extra time in ironing. Ironing myron. <laughs> I'd like to iron some myron. I need a mine iron. I think floor one is the only thing that's left. This isn't so bad so far. I do believe there's a basement that I need to be making my way to. I just don't remember how to get to it. That is the problem. Garage. Ah, here we go. Basement. He's a lumberjack. But today, he's just lumber. New books. More vehicle adventures. I guess putting points into those perks does quite a bit. I still don't like it, but it does something. Relax. Let's go ahead and drop the boy here and take a peek inside. Hello, everybody. Crawler on the shelf. <laughs> they stock some unusual freight here, don't they? I guess I dropped down the boy for nothing. Right here. This seems like a good place for it. Also, that was a screamer above. Or in here. I'm not sure. Who's left? Oh, a lumberjack. A dead lumberjack. All right, now we've got the marker pointing us to wherever we need to be. Oh, and it's... <laughs> That's not firewood. I'm gonna let that screamer keep doing her thing. I'm here for this. Some of that was arrows, not that. Ammo pile with ammo tips. Chest deleted. What is this? Repair this, this, that. Take the rest. All right, let's go take out that screamer. She's making a lot of noise, and I don't like it. Why is this door locked? Is there a key? No? Oh, that's definitely not the right tool. 
kill her before she screams. Wonderful. Now we're done with this POI. Some empty bookshelves. I guess I already raided those. And some trash, naturally. Oh, look, a piano. Since I'm here, I ought to show off my skills. This is Moonlight Sonata in Glizzy Major. Beautiful, I know. Inventive, even. Artistic. Or autistic. Whichever one you want to go with. Where's my bike? This way. Not enough speed. Not enough pep in my step to have turned it in, but that's okay. We can spend the rest of today mining. I think that seems like a fairly sensible idea. Now I'm going to grab some gasoline and dig out some of the iron underneath my base for tonight. Also, I gotta seal this up. No, I don't have any wood. Of course I don't. Something is definitely gonna beat its way in here and then beat my ass while I'm not paying attention because I get pretty lost in the sauce when I'm mining. If I don't patch that up, so that needs to be patched up. Now then, now then, nothing. I forgot to grab the coffee and also the learning elixirs. Let's get those. If you're going to dedicate such a heavy amount of time to something, you'd best get the best out of it. Where is the coffee in the moist box? One should be fine. And the elixirs are here. Again, one should be fine. Now then, again. Let's go ahead and rip the earth a new one, shall we? And that was the morning ring-a-ding-dong. And that was a screamer. She had started making noise pretty early into the night when I started mining, but I just decided to ignore her. The question is, where is she? Oh, right here. I guess she was trying to beat on that door, but very inefficiently. Seems like a screamer thing to do. Get out of here. Silly, silly little screamer. The silly screamer. This has been episode 62. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next episode, but for now, goodbye.